Hello guys, it's me Carson, this is AK Happy Car Fish, and I'm gonna do a set of Corsa career mode again. So, as you can see, I didn't show the first half of this uh, Silverstone race in my Ferrari, so I'm gonna resume it to lap 4 to lap 6. So, fortunately, I'm in the lead and Usually, when you put in very easy AI difficulty, you can really uh, stretch the lead on the long run and get achievements from there. Especially on the Xbox console, because like I don't know how the algorithm and the pattern of the game goes, because like once you get the lead and be patient, usually those back markers you can cast them real quick you know so this is basically like a sprint in my opinion because many of those that have played racing games all their lives you know they just want to put it on easy and then work their up to medium and veteran and then expert mode so Like, the only time I put it in veteran in expert mode is basically the NASCAR games and a little bit of Forza Motorsports because I just want to understand that racing genres are just my favorite and knowing that I want to quickly get the achievements and get them out of the way so I don't have to play them again. <laughs> Oh, did you guys see that? <laughs> and I was jumping up in the air. Or my race car jumping up in the air. So, put that aside. Let's finish this race, boys. So, it's lap 5, I believe. And... Yeah, I'm on the controller, so the the steering feedback of me turning left and right in the corners it's not similar to a racing wheel, especially on a PC game like the old NASCAR Papyrus games. But I don't have a steering wheel anymore because I save money on whatever I want, like a uh, Chevy Corvette, Chevy Camaro. It's just a dream to get one, but gotta be realistic because if you buy it, you have to be responsible for it. So, so we're close to being one to go on this uh, Assetto Corsa race at Silverstone. And. Yeah, it takes around two minutes and something seconds around to get around this place, and it's the long track, the F1 version of the track, and I've heard they, well, they did some construction back in the day, but basically this is the F1 version now, and I remember one time playing an F1 race on this track and I swept the pole and swept the races, you know. And the car was really fast even on forty percent AI difficulty, which is medium to hard and I really uh, got a handle of it. Like if I wrote raised the AI a bit, I'd still be mid a midfield team or midfield competitor, but this is what it takes, and that's what I'll be able to do. And yeah, I'm just watching my steering feedback while I still have a big lead over second, and yep, let's just hope that. Everything's all right and all that.
Did I get off the track? Yeah, a little bit. I usually don't get penalized if I cut corners or extend the track a bit. Yeah. I never cut the corners yet, but basically this is I'm just gonna cruise on in and win this race. Yeah. I'm gonna come to the last few corners here, and yeah, I think it's the last few corners. Yep, it is. And I'm gonna easily win at Silverstone. So that's those are the last few laps of the Silverstone race. So if you want to watch this video again, click on the rewind button so you guys can understand. Than what I'm talking about in my uh, my races. So, make it happy, kind of life. You'll have a great day and peace out.